Hi everyone! So what I thought I'd do today is just an update video on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga. So I've been using it for a few months now, so I thought I'd give you a quick update on how it's going, the good points about it, and especially with a focus on office products, which is where I use, which I, what I use the most. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, just to recap, this is the X1 Yoga 4th generation. It's quite heavy, especially if we compare it to my wife's uh, X1 Carbon. You can feel the weight difference between the two of them. And in terms of size, the X1 Carbon is just slightly larger and same sort of thickness that they have. The Where the weight is is really in the hinges, where it makes it a bit heavier on the Yoga. So on the outside, the Yoga has on the left hand side, uh, the power inlet, the, the, the inlets for the docking station, which is USB-C. Here we can connect the screen or, uh, or the docking station uh, into the computer, a USB port, HDMI, and the headphone jack. Nice sleek finish on the front. And then on the right hand side, we have the the, the locking area, a fan, or the, the vent, US, another USB, power on off button, and just over here, we have a small stylus, which on the right hand side, it's got the charging points, so you don't even need a separate charger. It just charges when you fit it into the slot. And it's nice because it's no, there's no ledge, there's no nothing here. It's nice, nice finish, nice flush finish. And then on the back, as we saw earlier, two hinges which allow it to go all the way around and a USB, um, oh sorry, a SIM card slot, if I'm not mistaken. So that's, that's the outside of it. It is nice, it feels nice, it feels sturdy, even though if it is a little bit heavier uh, than, than the um, X1 Carbon. So when, when we open it up, so this version here itself uh, it is the fourth generation model, um, i7 core processor, uh, the eighth generation processor. It's a 16 uh, gigabyte RAM and it runs on Windows 10 Pro. So when we open it up, we've got the trackpad, um, the two mouse buttons, the, the, the key which can be a scrolling key, uh, similar to the wheel on the mouse. The, the typical IBM or Lenovo um, track or dot to scroll, uh, function keys which are proper function keys, some other function keys up here, and just over here we have the fingerprint reader which is very responsive and works, works very well. And as you can see on the screen itself, excellent graphics, uh, in terms of brightness, it is it can go very bright, and you can also lower it and still see it while saving battery if you need to, or reading in the dark. So it does. It's got very clear colors, and just on the top here, what we do have is we have a webcam, and I'm very happy that they've allowed a switch. So rather than having a post-it sticking on it, you can just click the switch off, and the camera. Is, is there but no one can, uh, it's, it's hidden. So in terms of the, the touch, if we open, for example, Chrome, uh, we can do the scrolling as, as you would typically do in, in any laptop, but this one it's touch screen. So you can, just like any, any phone or any touch screen surface, you can scroll with the fingers, you can make it larger, you can zoom out, uh, you can click, so it works just as, just as you would expect, and it's it is it is useful. I never thought I would think that a touch screen would be this beneficial, but I find myself using it more and more. One of the key things of the yoga is, of course, the stylus, and how you can set it up into various different positions. So what we'll do, let's open a sample Word document. Make it a little bit bigger. So, for example, here I'm editing a Word document. Um, I can write another sentence. 
just with the key uh, with the keyboard. And then let's say I'm, I'm reviewing the document and I think, no, okay, I, I don't need this. I don't want it while I'm reading it. And I can with this with the pen nice and quickly just start start annotating the document. So for example here you can start to just as if you were doing it on pen and paper, which I, I just find so useful. And as I say, I didn't think I would use it this often. But it is it is very good, very responsive. And it works, it works well. So you can use both. And again, if now, let's say here, I want to just change and start writing again, I can do it without many problems of having to switch. Um, and then again, I say, well, no, okay, let's, let's get rid of this. I can highlight it. So you can use them both interchangeably. And it's the very similar thing. Let's say, for example, on a PowerPoint, you've got a PowerPoint and um, you want to annotate or you want to review a, a PowerPoint. So you can use your key keyboard. So you can just start changing the text, take the stylus, and then again, let's say, well, okay, what, what does this mean? Let's highlight this um, and let's maybe get rid of this. So then you can send it off to someone and say, make these annotations, make these changes and tweaks, or you can then do them at a later point in time once, you, once you've got time. And again, uh, you can scroll between the different slides with your fingers, you can make it a bit bigger, a bit smaller, etc. So it, it works, it works well. So the, the benefit of the yoga is so this was in the laptop, call it position. We can put it and flip it. Uh, no. So this is now just with the screen. So you've got the screen up so you can now, uh, let's say for example, you want to go to the internet browser, very similar as you would in the laptop position. It works in the exact same way. Um, apart from that, you don't have the, lap, the the keyboard here. So let's say you're confined space or you don't need the keyboard. You can, you can limit that um, and just have the screen showing. And again, even Word, I mean, it works the same way. You can have that the on-screen keyboard will pop up so you can write as well if needed. But what I find is it's much easier just to flip it back, get the keyboard up, and then start writing rather than using the on-screen keyboard. So we'll close that. And again, if you want to annotate it in the exact same way, you can do it with the stylus. Excel works in, in a very similar manner as, as what we just saw with Word and PowerPoint. So here, let's say you want to start reviewing an Excel document, you can do that quite easily. So that's in the one of the positions and it does go as as far as you really want and until you get to one point and then it becomes a sort of tablet. So again here, I won't do the same thing, but if I just lift that up, so the keyboard, if you can hear, I am clicking and nothing happens because the keyboard gets disabled once it gets into the tablet position or tablet mode. Um, it, it does feel heavy if you're only using it with one hand. So after a while, it does start to hurt the arm. But if you're, you're reviewing it in a plane or something on public transport, it, it is very beneficial because the space is practically nothing. You can hold it up or you can even lean it against uh, against your laps if you if you can. And you can do the same same thing. So you can do... A, a, basically annotating any Word document. And this is where sometimes the, the, the on-screen keyboard does help. If you pop that up, um, it does come up very quickly and you can start writing. So that's in the tablet position. And if we flip it up, so it's quite a big tablet. Uh, and in these cases, it's quite difficult to hold. So what I just do usually do is hold it against, uh, or lean it against the table. But it does allow you to read a, a Word document, or I'll, I'll open up a PDF in a second. It does allow you to read a document just as if you would be reading a piece of paper. So, for example, just keep scrolling. You can see it. If you want to make it a little bit bigger, you can. Unfortunately, as you can see, it doesn't um, wrap the text. So you do need to just play around with the sizing a little bit just to make it fit nice and flush on the page. 
and uh, yeah, similar sort of thing. You can tweak it, you can edit it, you can change, uh, you can change colors and various different things that you want to do. And this works exactly in the same sort of way as a PDF. So for example, this is just a PDF document, which is downloaded off the internet. Um, I can, so it will recognize that I've got the pen and I can start to annotate as well the PDF document. So for example, I want to get rid of number four later on, or what does number four mean? I can, I can edit it and the PDF will recognize it. And if you want, you can also highlight. Um, uh, so let's highlight this part. It will come up as, as highlighting. So I found it very useful. I, just, I never thought I would find it as useful as I did. I find myself using the, the, the stylus and the, the touchscreen function a lot more. I was used to the X1 Carbon and um, it, was, it was already good enough, but this one just brought it up to a whole new level. Another good thing that I found um, is just taking notes. So let me put it back into the landscape position. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So if you've got, let's say you want to lean it on a table and you're just writing notes. So let's just select this. Ignore the handwriting, which is quite bad. Um, but it does feel a bit strange writing on the glass to begin with instead of a piece of paper. But after a while, you do get used to it. Um, and then it just becomes a lot easier. And the quite nifty thing about the stylus is it's got two buttons, which you can just faintly see here. And if you click, uh, so let's say we are writing, and no, okay, I can't, I don't, I don't need that. You can click on one of the buttons and it will become a rubber. So you can get rid of, of the notes that you just did, which saves you, and then you just let go of the button and then you can start writing again. And it's just so much easier than writing and then think, oh no, I need to click on the eraser up here, uh, delete it, and then change it back to the pen mode. It's just so much easier just to have the button, click on it, it deletes it, and you're good to go. There is a software which recognizes text, uh, recognizes your handwriting, so it makes it even more uh, legible. So that's, that's very useful. I find myself using uh, OneNote, for example, just taking notes on calls or webinars or things like that, it does, uh, it is a lot better um, than writing with pen and paper, which then I, I lose. And again, yeah, same sort of thing. You can start to edit Excel if, 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 if you want to. So you can click on a cell and start writing here, bring up the, the keyboard or the on-screen keyboard. I have not done this because I find it so much easier just using the normal keyboard. But if you're that way inclined, you can do it as well. So if I just go back on, on OneNote, um, and let's just write, this is a note. What the other button allows you to do is kind of like a select tool. So let's say you've put this here, click on the button, select that, and you can use the pen or the, the stylus just as if you would a mouse. So let's say you want this note to come here. You can do that um, and then you can just start using it just as you would with a with a normal just like a mouse what I've also found is very good is that when you've got the stylus and it's close by to the screen or in close proximity of the screen you can lean your wrist against the the glass or the screen and start writing and you can move along and it won't open other windows um, which just makes it so much better and so much easier to write and, and as I, as it should so it shouldn't be opening other windows or anything and Yeah, I mean I love the stylus area where you can just slot in the stylus back into its home Just here on the right That's it. It goes back and you're done. So you don't risk of losing it. Uh, you know, it's there. It's quite easy to pull out um, And then you can start writing Battery life, um, it is good. As I say, this one was, uh, got it in January, start of January. Battery life lasts a good, uh, a good few hours of, of intense usage. Um, and 
yeah, I have to say it's it's good. It would be nice if it was just a, a tad lighter because um, it does feel a bit heavy uh, or if you're carrying it in a rucksack, you do start to feel it on your back. But other than that, it's one of the best laptops I've used. Um, just to talk about sound very briefly, you've got the speaker up here. Um, it's got good good quality sound. Let's see if we can just play a quick video just so that you can see how it sounds. Not on that one. Put the sound on. So you can see it sounds it sounds good. It's a little bit not that loud, um, but it does. You can it you can hear it well. Um, so other than that, yeah, definitely re would recommend it. It is a great computer, great laptop, and uh, hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.